So this is truly odd, folks. Donald Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, is now making video messages toward our editor-in-chief at MidasTouch.com, Ron Filikowski, and she's making videos of herself uh, cutting an avocado. I really don't understand what's going on. I mean, Trump is in a very serious criminal trial right now. You had Donald Trump's colleague, David Pecker, testify against Donald Trump to his face about the catch and kill scheme to influence the 2016 election. And you've got Donald Trump's lawyer, Alina Habba. I mean, granted, she's not his criminal defense lawyer in this case, but she's one of the main lawyers on his legal team generally. And she's making videos cutting an avocado and uh, sending messages to our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski. So here's ba basically, I can't make this stuff up. Here's basically what happened. So she made a video of herself cutting celery um, yesterday, and Ron Filipkowski just posted the video. And what our team does at the Midas Touch Network and our editorial staff is oftentimes they're just a mirror, just quite literally showing what it is that people in MAGA world themselves are posting or saying. So this is what Alina Haba was doing. So Philip Kowski said, look, here's a video of Alina Haba that she made of herself cutting celery. And it doesn't seem like she's really able to cut the celery. Um, but here, watch this clip first. I just think it's so good. And it brings the moisture so it's not dry. So what vegetables are we using? Celery? We celery and carrots. Celery and carrots. But I love these. I had to go to two different places. Joseph's didn't have the, the carrots. chips. Oh, the carrot chips. The chips. So I brought two sizes, the chips. And then there's these little ones I'll throw in there too. And look, Ron Filipkowski has been chronicling a lot of uh, Alina Habba's antics. Like, here she is with the... MAGA rapper named Forgaccio Blow or something like that and he likes to rap about like murdering women and he has a video where he like throws the body of a woman in, in the water. It's like really disgusting and sickening. Um, but he's like hangs out at, at Mar-a-Lago now. It's like the MAGA rapper Forgaccio Blow and there's Alina Haba right there. And all Ron Filipkowski wrote is Forgaccio Blow and Alina Haba at Mar-a-Lago. And this is you know, uh, one of the lead lawyers on Trump's legal team, and she's got this like Trump gold chain that's probably fake, and a, a MAGA ring with Trump's face on the gold chain, and this weird ring. But anyway, Alina Haba then made this video right here, and um, she directed it at Ron Filipkowski. Um, and here she is cutting an avocado, and this is something that uh, she wanted to show. So here, play play this clip. Hey guys, I've um, never done a video like this, so I, I thought I would try because Juan Filipowski is getting like a million views for me chopping salad. This is me eating avocado. Happy Passover, everybody. Hey, Ron, you little trollski. Well, I'm not good at this either. Oops. Oops. Get a life! And you'll see, I mean, how, how bizarre is that? She's saying, Ron Filipkowski, watch me cut an avocado. I mean, your client's in a serious felony criminal trial. Like, what are you doing? Like, again, this is just, this behavior is just very, very odd. And, and I'm not, not very stable behavior. I mean, here's what Alina Haba writes. And this is, she posts this. She goes, breaking news for the Trollskis. I can't cut an avocado either. And she posts that also. Here's another thing that she posted, and we did a story about it on MidasTouch.com. Our story is Alina Haba repost to Trump critics. Haba nice day, bitches. Haba nice day, bitches. That's something Alina Haba posted on her Instagram. Here's her Instagram right here. She said, this one made me laugh. Boom. Haba nice day, bitches. Uh, z -z 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 with lots of Z's, and I mean, I guess they think that's funny in, in MAGA world. I mean, they, they, they think that that's normal behavior. It's very, very, very strange. 
So then Alina Habba went around and um, she gave this interview to uh, right-wing media um, as well after sending that message to uh, our editor-in-chief Ron Filipkowski. And then she says that they are trying to make attorneys on the team look or seem like they don't know what they were doing. Um, and as our editor-in-chief Ron Filipkowski points out, it's a tough call whether she knew more about introducing a trial exhibit or chopping celery. Watch what Alina Habba did last night after making that weird video uh, to our editor-in-chief after saying, uh, Habba nice day, bitches. And then she goes on and, and gives this interview. Play this clip. The fact is that he, you now have to argue the constitutionality of his own gag order in front of him, and then he tells the Trump lawyers that they're losing credibility in his courtroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, this judge has no credibility. Yeah, this is the same methodology that um, judges have done with me and the left-wing media, they'll, they'll run with it. They try and make uh, attorneys on the team look or seem like they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they know that the press is in the room and they kind of play into it. They'll say things, you know, I'll speak to my experience, um, you know, for the lawyers out there that'll understand, I was putting in uh, something in evidence and it was impeachment evidence. It wasn't introducing something blindly. And uh, the judge was making comments that would make the press believe that I didn't know what I was doing, saying, you know, you need to read the evidence rules. And I was looking at him and I remember thinking, you're doing this on purpose. You're doing this in front of a jury. You're doing this in front of the press. And the jury is impressionable. To them, the judge sure. runs the court. So they do this intentionally today with Mr. Blanche to say to Todd something like you're losing credibility because there's no case law and a president being gagged and his First Amendment rights being taken away. Well, let me tell you why there's no precedent on that. <laughs> there's no precedent on that because it's never happened before. So they're asking us to back up things that you can't because it's never happened in this country. If you want to get precedent, maybe we need to look in Mexico or somewhere else where this would happen. But it doesn't happen in this country. And uh, I think it's intentional. I know it is. They do it. They've done it to me. And they try and berate and ridicule the attorneys. Uh, and it's a, it's really pathetic. Well, that was you know, look, we previously reported how Alina Habba gave an interview with a right-wing podcaster where... Um, she talked about how she'd rather be pretty than smart. I mean, this is her own words. She'd rather be pretty and smart because she says you can fake being smart. Here, play this clip. So, I'll, I'll tell you something. Somebody said to me, Alina, would you rather be, um, would you rather be smart or pretty? And I said, oh, easy, pretty. I can fake being smart. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've reported how Alina Haba, look, you know, to her credit, she's gotten paid. Trump doesn't pay a lot of lawyers, but he pays Alina Abba. She's been paid over three and a half million dollars from Trump's political action committee, maybe even as high as five million dollars, possibly more, somewhere probably between three and a half and five. You can see the political action committee um, statements. And look, she's out there flaunting it. She just took a trip to St. Bart's where she partied with her friends. Um, and she gave everybody like individual Dior bags and Chanel bags and individual bathrobes with people's initials on it and was partying it up in, in villas, private villas in St. Bart's. I mean, that's what uh, they're doing. And then you always see her around Mar-a-Lago partying it up like with Kimberly Guilfoyle. You see the photos right there. But you just think about like, who are Donald Trump's most trusted legal advisors, right? You have Alina Haba, who you, we just showed you the video of herself cutting an avocado um, that she wanted to send our editor-in-chief and sh that she sent. It's very strange, in my opinion. Um, but then his other main legal advisor is actually not a lawyer at all. So I guess you can give Alina Haba somewhat credit that she's at least a lawyer. Um, Tom Fitton, who wears the really tight, like really tight shirts and apparently hats that don't fit him. So you saw the videos of Haba. This is a video that Trump's other top legal advisor, who's not a lawyer, Tom Fitton is making. Uh, and Tom Fitton is like shaking his head or like nodding his head like he's sad. 
as Donald Trump is giving one of these unhinged press conferences where Trump is claiming that the judge is preventing Trump from being at his son Barron's graduation, which is just false. The judge never made any such ruling. The judge has not ruled on whether or not on that specific Friday, May 17th, the court will or will not be dark. Just don't know the schedule that late in May. So the court said, I'm not going to rule yet. But Donald Trump just goes out because he has to whine about everything. And here is uh, Trump's other top legal advisor, Tom Fitton, um, making a video of himself. Here, let's let's play this clip. Well, it looks like the judge will not let me go to the graduation of my son who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. Very proud of the fact that he did so well. I was looking forward for years to have graduation with his mother and father there. And it looks like the judge isn't going to allow me to escape this scam. It's a scam trial. If you read all of the legal pundits, all of the legal scholars today, there's not one that I see that said this is a case that should be brought or tried. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. It continues and it continues forever. And we're not going to be given a fair trial. It's a very, very... And folks, for me, one of the big dangers of Trump, there's a lot, but one of the big dangers is that he surrounds himself with clowns. And he surrounds himself with just people who are not serious adults, who behave in the way that I showed you. These are very serious issues. These are serious matters. And they're behaving like, and no offense to grade school kids are like, misbehaving grade school kids it's this is just very strange to see adults behave the way people who are closest to donald trump uh, behave because that's what donald trump wants he invites that trump can't be around anybody who's smarter than him and because trump isn't all that bright or bright at all he surrounds himself with you know people like this and this is, it's so dangerous to give this person any power at all. A chronic, perpetual liar, the weirdness. Anyway, you can, you can judge all of that for um, yourself. I'll let you judge it. I'm Ben Micellis. This is the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Have a good day.